welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be talking all about my skincare routine. We are going to be going through my AM skincare routine as well as my PM skincare routine in real time. I'm bringing you guys right into the bathroom. I'm going to go through each product, how I apply it, all the steps with you guys. I haven't done an updated skincare video in so long and I've learned a lot working at Sephora, especially in the past year and a half or so. So if you're interested in seeing my AM and PM updated skincare routine for super dry, sensitive, acne prone skin specifically, then just keep on watching. First off, we are going to start by cleansing the skin. This is something that I do either in or out of the shower depending. I prefer cleansing my skin in the shower just because it's easier. You don't have all the water running down your neck and your arms. So I have two different cleansers depending if I'm washing my face in the shower or at the sink or how my skin is doing. So the most important thing in my routine for me personally is using a gel-based cleanser. I found that with my acne, that is what my skin likes. If I go for a more hydrating cream cleanser, it's not enough for my acne. So I personally am better off to go in with a gel cleanser, really, really clean the skin so that it the acne, bacteria, all of that gets taken care of and then go on top of it with hydrating products rather than using a lightweight hydrating cleanser because it isn't enough for my acne. So I have learned that over the years and these are the ones that I'm currently using. This guy is newer to me. I keep this one in my shower. This is the Glow Skin Beauty Hydrating Gel Cleanser for combination skin. It says it has just gentle surfactants in it. Just gonna lightly cleanse the skin. It's a good one. I've probably used it half up by now, but really any gel cleanser. My favorite drugstore option is the, um, I don't have it right now, I'm out of it, uh, Pacifica Beauty. Their kale cleanser is incredible. I will link that down below as well. That is my favorite drugstore one. I had this from PR, so I'm using it at the moment, but typically I would keep my Pacifica one with me in the shower. And then my favorite, favorite cleanser ever for my skin, for my acne, is the Dermalogica from their Clear Start line, the Breakout Clearing Foaming Wash. Incredible if you have any type of acne skin, if you have dry skin, if you have oily skin, if you have normal skin, but you struggle with acne, this is an incredible one. So we're gonna go ahead with this first. Obviously, you're gonna cleanse first. I don't have any makeup on at the moment. I do use this cleanser AM and PM. All right, so I'm gonna take a generous amount of this. You can see it has that nice gel texture that I like to see. I love the smell of this too, because it's what my uh, esthetician uses. So it makes me feel like I'm at the spa when I'm just at home trying to treat my acne. So I take about that much and I wet it first um, and then just work it into the skin. I typically try and really, really work it into the skin, 30 to 60 seconds. I've heard that you're supposed to cleanse your skin as long as it takes to say the ABCs twice. So just make sure you really get in there. Work it in my hands first and then apply it to the skin. And now that the cleanser is all rinsed off, I just have a clean face towel here and I like to pat it into the skin. Do not rub, especially if you have acne, it will cause irritation. And if you have dry skin, I recommend not completely drying it. I recommend leaving a little bit of moisture in the skin, especially when you're going in with like moisturizers and stuff. But personal preference, I just pat it reasonably dry. Now that the skin is all cleansed and dried, we are going to go in with a toner. This isn't something that I always do. I would say I do this about like 40% of the time, but I figured I would show you guys anyway, just so you know like when to use toner and what one I use when I use it. So right now I've been working through the Pixi Glow Tonic. This one has my name on it, super cute. I got it in PR. Um, this makes my skin really nice and glowy. I try not to use it as much when I have my acne because it's just like a potential irritation. I don't like adding too many products when my acne is flaring up. But if I am going to go in with toner, this is the one that I've been using and I really like it. I also really enjoy the Ordinary Glycolic Toner. That's one that I use more so at night. They do similar things and I enjoy both. And when I go in with toner, I always use my Sephora organic cotton pads. These ones are amazing. They are super big and soft and like luxurious feeling. So I'm going to do toner today just to show you guys. So I just pump this right on the pad here. 
and then I apply it to the face like so. This will probably make my face a little bit red because my skin is very sensitive. So for my daytime moisturizer, I have been alternating between two different ones. Again, I received both of these in PR. I'll make sure to say what was purchased and what I received in PR. So these were both PR products. Um, they are quite similar in texture and consistency. I find they're quite similar on the skin. During the day though, especially when I'm wearing makeup, I like to use more of a lightweight moisturizer, even though I have very dry skin. I don't like using anything too rich and creamy. I like saving those for nighttime to apply with oils and whatnot. So during the day, I want something that's still moisturizing, but a little more lightweight, and both of these do that for me. So I have the Versed Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream with green tea extract and aloe leaf juice. My skin absolutely loves this. This is the one that I'll be using today and showing you. And then I also have the Purito Centella Green Level Recovery Cream. This has niacinamide. It has some different acids in it. My skin just really likes it. I usually save this one for when my skin is more like acneic, inflamed, um, if I just feel like I need to calm it down a little bit. So they're both really good, similar price range as well. I'm gonna go in with the Versed and I like to take a decent amount. I might even go in with more. And again, I always work the product through my fingers beforehand. It's just a habit. This one's definitely like a gel texture, similar in texture actually to the, like the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. If you're familiar with that, it's very similar in texture. That's another one that I also like, a good drugstore option. And the Dew Point Moisture Cream is good for all skin types as well. It has aloe, it has squalene, glycerin, jojoba seed oil. I just really like how it feels on my skin. It does definitely leave a bit of a tacky finish, which I also enjoy, especially in the morning before makeup prep. Um, now it is time to go in with the SPF. So I have a few different options that I rotate between that are like good accessible options for you guys. The first is the CeraVe AM Moisturizing Lotion. If I'm using this one, then I don't go in with like the prior step, the moisturizer. The CeraVe AM PM Moisturizer are fantastic um, so I do like using the AM one as well but when I do that I don't go in with the moisture cream ahead of time um, and then the two that I've been mainly rotating between which I apply after moisturizer if I am wearing makeup I will go in with the unseen sunscreen this is SPF 40 it's great applies so well under makeup it's kind of designed to go with makeup and then this is the Neutrogena Bright Boost SPF 30 this is the one that I go in if I'm not wearing makeup every day because it does have a nice illuminating finish to it. So I like that kind of look if I'm not wearing any makeup, but if I'm wearing makeup, I want something that's going to wear well with makeup. Um, and I am wearing makeup today. So we're going to go in with the Super Goop Unseen. You're supposed to go in with three fingers worth of SPF. So you can't even really see because it's clear, but three fingers worth of SPF is apparently the perfect amount for day to day so that is what i have been doing and warm it into the skin this one is more of like a silicone feeling consistency so it works really really well under my makeup i do still go in with like a face primer because that's just me and i love face primer you can see that there's zero white cast it's completely clear so it's good for all skin tones all skin types and then the last step that i do in my morning skin care routine is some type of moisturizing lip balm. Typically I'll go in with like a balm or an oil or like a tinted balm. Doesn't really matter. Currently my favorite is the Huda Beauty Silk Balm. I own three of these. I love them. I'm almost out. This one, I don't know if you can tell. It's incredible. This is just the Blush Hydra Plumping Lip Balm. It's not plumping in the sense that it's going to tingle your lips at all. It's really just like a moisturizing skincare balm, but I love how it looks on the lips and it's very hydrating. Those are all of the steps that I do in my AM routine daily. Um, as I said, I use the toner probably about 40% of the time, but I've been very good about SPF every day thus far this year but generally this is what I do day to day in the morning for my skincare super easy it makes my skin clean hydrated SPF covered moisturized and ready for makeup or no makeup depending on what I'm doing so I am going to go ahead and I have videos and stuff to film today so I'm gonna go ahead and do that 
and then I will talk to you guys again when we get into my PM skincare routine, which is a little more moisturizing, luxe. That's when I like to use oils and like masks and do treatments and pamper myself. So I will be back to show you that in a bit. All right, it has been hours and hours and we are now ready to do the full PM skincare part of the routine. First step is wash off the makeup, get every little bit of makeup off before we go in with the actual skincare products that are gonna hydrate, that are gonna help with my breakouts, et cetera, et cetera. We have more steps to get through than my AM, so let's just get into it. The first step is double cleansing. So I like to do a double cleanse, especially when I'm wearing a full, relatively full face of makeup. So lately I have been using and absolutely loving the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. This was purchased myself, I think. Yeah, everything that I'm going to be showing in the PM portion of the video was purchased myself. So no more PR stuff. This was all purchased myself. Um, I've been loving this. It's incredibly affordable for a cleansing balm. Balm. I don't think you need to spend a ton of money on a cleansing balm because it's your first cleanse. It doesn't have too much contact with the skin, especially if you're more so using it to remove makeup. I also really enjoy the Physician's Formula, the Matcha Cleansing Balm. That one's really good. And I also love my one from Burst as well. This one was sent in PR. This is the Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. Um, it does contain eucalyptus and it smells fairly strongly of eucalyptus, but I really like this one as well. You can get it at the drugstore. But I've just been using and currently adoring the oat cleansing balm. I find it a little bit more hydrating on my skin than any other one I've tried, which I absolutely love. It says that it's specifically for sensitive skin. You can use it AM, PM. I just absolutely love this for the price. So I'm going to go in with a hefty amount of this to make sure that we get off every little bit of makeup. Of course, I will be going in with like eye makeup remover. I'll show you guys that in a sec. So I got out a lot of product. That is what it looks like there. You can see like the oil separation and then the actual balm part. So again, like all my other products, I like to massage it between my fingers a little bit first. And that is what this looks like. So it's a very oily texture um, when you rub it in, which I really, really enjoy for my dry skin. It just feels extra hydrating. It's not stripping the skin. So I'm going to go in with this and I like to really, really massage it into the skin. Make sure it really gets in there and breaks down all of the makeup. A double cleanse is also a good practice to have when you are wearing SPF every day to make sure that you really get that off of the skin at night. So I've massaged it into the skin for about 30 seconds to a minute before using any type of water, just with the oils themselves, working it into the skin. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in some water and rinse off this oily residue. All right, so this is how we look after just using the cleansing balm, um, which is pretty good. I would say that's like 90% of my makeup removed, mainly just my eye makeup left and maybe a little bit left on the skin, but not much at all. So now I like to go in and just remove the remaining eye makeup before I go in with my cleanser. You can do it after, really doesn't matter for this part. But my favorite eye makeup remover has been for years and years is the Clean and Clear Soothing Eye Makeup Remover. Most eye makeup removers that I've tried burn my eyes incredibly. So this one doesn't, I stick with it. I don't know like great things about Clean and Clear as a skincare brand, but just for eye makeup remover, it works for me and it doesn't irritate me using the same Sephora cotton pads. Here's how the skin is now looking with the eye makeup removed as well. You can see my face is fairly red, a little bit irritated. It's just how it is with my skin. So I'm going to go in with cleanser now, again, using the same Dermalogica foaming wash, exact same process as I did this morning. I like to massage it in for about 60 seconds into the skin to make sure that we really get everything cleansed, cleared, especially because we were wearing makeup previously. Massage it in between my fingers. I 
Again, I like to leave a touch of moisture in the skin and make sure not to rub, just use patting motions. Now that the skin is 100% cleansed, we are good to go in with moisturizer, serums, all the good stuff. This is my favorite part of the routine. I hate washing my face. I hate getting water everywhere. So this is the fun part, but I will say I'm not gonna do it tonight because my skin is like irritated and I just don't feel like I need to. But once a week, I will go in with the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant as well. This is an incredible physical exfoliant. It is pretty much the only physical exfoliant I use in my routine otherwise I stick to a chemical exfoliant like the glycolic acid or the glycolic toner from The Ordinary or the Kate Somerville liquid exfoliate I have as well. I will use as a um, liquid exfoliant like once a week as well. So I like to do a liquid exfoliant once to twice a week and then a physical exfoliant about once a week. Um, so this is what I use for my physical, but I'm not going to use that today. It is an incredible product. I've been using it for years and years. I absolutely love it. So I am going to add this on today just because I do have some breakouts going on still they are starting to go away but I want to continue them going away so I'm gonna add this in as well this is the Dermalogica clear start breakout clearing booster I love Dermalogica as a skin brand I just think it's very effective for me personally um, and especially with my acne so I just add a little bit of this on the areas specifically that I feel like I need it it has salicylic acid in it that is the main active in here um, and I just like to add a super thin layer on any areas of my skin that are irritated at the moment um, and it is just like a thin serum consistency work it between my fingers as always and my breakouts are mainly down here right now and on this cheek next i would go in with moisturizer i'm gonna skip serums tonight i don't really have any that i regularly use i get so many in pr and from work so i switch them up very regularly so i don't have any that i feel like i need to show you guys but now i would go in with my moisturizer um, the main moisturizer that I've been using and absolutely loving for the last two months is the newer it's from pharmacy It's the honey halo ultra hydrating ceramide moisturizer I am probably have one use left of this so I'm gonna save it and I'm going to do a hydrating mask tonight instead But I absolutely love this moisturizer. It is so incredible. I will be repurchasing Eventually, I just don't really have the money right now, but I absolutely love this highly highly recommend if you have dry skin but tonight I'm going to go in with my favorite hydrating mask ever. This is my second bottle. This is the Drunk Elephant F-Bomb Facial. This is technically an overnight hydrating mask but I would say I use it like twice a week as just a moisturizer. Sometimes I use it in the morning if my skin is incredibly dry. It has tons of great ingredients in here. It has niacinamide, plant squalene, ceramides, omega fatty acids, um, vitamin F, tons of good ingredients in here. So I noticed the biggest difference with this in my skin. It is a go-to for me in the winter. I would say these two products, the Laneige I'll talk about in a sec, are my number one in my winter skincare routine for the last two years they have been. So I go in with a hefty amount of this. I take three pumps worth typically. I have incredibly dry skin as I said um, and I again work it into the fingers. This does have tiny tiny little granules in there with extra ingredients that are gonna burst and like disperse into the skin. So I'm just gonna go in and slap this all over. This makes me so glowy. You can like see the automatic like glow and glisten that this gives my skin. I like using this as a moisturizing like before makeup prep for special events. Just makes my skin feel so plump is like the number one thing I would probably say. Plump and hydrated and just like revital awake quenched like all the good things this I've tried a lot of different hydrating masks over the years this is by far my favorite and the most effective for me all right we are almost done I have one main like skincare product left but first I want to go over some like serum and lip stuff so for growth of my brows and my lashes I use this every single night it is the milk makeup kush grow house lash and brow serum i love it i do really notice a difference in my lashes and my brows so i like to just take the brush here 
This just helps with any sparseness and especially on the tails of the brows is where I mainly like to focus it because that's where I struggle with like growth and fullness. And then taking it on the lash line as well. So you just paint it right on the lash line like you would with a liquid eyeliner. Okay, so for my lips, I use the most basic essential product that everyone has. I switch it up sometimes. I also have the, um, I have a Bite lip scrub and their Agave lip mask. I like those as well, but I just like the feeling of this on my lips a little bit better. This is the Laneige um, lip sleeping mask. Near out, you can see I've gone through a lot there. So I like to do mine on a Q-tip. I just don't like digging my fingers into things, especially when I have nails. So I take mine on a Q-tip. So that is how it looks with the lip mask on. This does do like a gentle exfoliation as well. I don't notice an exfoliation with it at all. Some people do and don't like it um, for that reason, but I just find that it makes my lips really soft and plump and pretty and makes like makeup going better on top. So I really like it. Last product to add even more hydration and glow. This is the other one with the F-Balm that I was saying is incredibly essential in my routine. This is the Laneige Cream Skin Mist. They also have a cream mist, cream skin toner, and I believe a cream skin cleanser. This is the easiest I find to integrate into my routine and it is the most effective for me. So this is for normal to dry skin. It is going to boost hydration and radiance. It has white leaf tea water in it. So I keep one in the bathroom and one beside my bed and I use it all the time. So I just shake it up. You can see I'm almost done there. And I do a very generous spray of this. And then before I actually fall asleep, I usually will do one more spray while I'm just laying in bed. This is how we are looking, very glowy, dewy, hydrated. This is what I like to do at night for my skin, at least. It doesn't change a ton in the summer, um, but yeah, this is what I do for my skin day and night, and I hope this was helpful. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a like, a thumbs up. Also, please do subscribe if you aren't already. It really, really helps me out, and it would mean a lot to me. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I hope that you have an absolutely awesome day. Bye.